Hello, this is Mr. Vargas, and this is part two of my clicking game tutorial. So in part one, our game had a ball that would bounce around the screen, would make a bouncing noise when it hit a wall, and when you clicked on it, it also made a noise and jumped it to another part of the screen. So in today's tutorial we're going to add three things to our game we're going to make the ball get faster every time you click on it to increase the difficulty we're going to add background music and we're also going to add a score to our game so we're going to click on our ball we're going to click edit and we're going to do behaviors so all of the coding for this uh part will be done in um in ball in the ball's behaviors so let's do, um, we're going to make the ball get faster with every click. And we actually don't need to add any code for this because over here we have a, a block, a number block that sets the velocity. Right now, the number block only gets, only activates at one time, right? Because the once block just activates once at the beginning of the program. Well, we're going to create a new connection from mouse click to this number block. What this is gonna do, so it, and you have to make sure you hit the right bubble. It's the plus of the number block. So what that does is when you click down, it activates this plus that increases this number and the, and the ball will get faster. In fact, let me test that out real quick. So watch when I click. You see how it went to four and now it goes to five. So that's basically all you have to do to increase the speed is create a new connection from the down of mouse click to the plus of the number block that we used in part one of the tutorial to, to set the velocity. Now let's add some music. So for the music, we are going to add a new component and that component is gonna be a sound component. We've used this before as well but we used it for sound effects. Now we're gonna use it for music. Since we are using it for music, you were gonna set it to loop so that if someone played for a long time and the music is done, we don't want it to just stop and them continue playing in silence. Instead, we want the music to loop. Also, you can play around with the volume. I think the, um, the volume's a little loud from when I tested it, so I'll set it to 50. Then we're gonna do choose sound. And instead of clicking effects like we did previously, we're gonna click on music. 8-bit, and then you have a few categories here to pick from. I'll just go with jungle, and I'll pick the first one. You can listen to some other ones if you want, but I'll just go with the first one and press OK. Now we need something to tell this music block to play. And if you think about it, we want the music to start right at the beginning. So this once block that we've already added, we can, again, we don't have to add a, another block. We can just use this from the out, connect it to the play, and then let's test it. And you see it starts playing music right away. So we've already added two of the three features that I wanted to add. The last feature we're going to add is score. So for score, we are going to add some new blocks. We're going to add a new a number block. That's where the, the score is going to be um, stored. And we're going to add a label. So let's add the number block first. So add a number block. I'm going to put it down here. The label, we could just set it to score. But what's really more important is the value. All right, so this is going to be our score. Whenever the person clicks down on the mouse, look, down is doing a lot of stuff, right? When you click down, it increases the speed, it plays a click sound, and it also activates these two random blocks from part one that change the position. Now we're also going to make the click increase the score. Now you got to be careful where you um, connect it, right? We want the score to increase, so we're going to connect it to the plus. So it starts at zero, but every time you click down on the ball, the score will go up by one, similar to what we are doing for the speed. The last thing we need to add is a label. So a label is under GUI, 
right? GUI stands for graphical user interface. We're gonna add a label block. And you know it's getting kind of cramped here. You can zoom in and out of your game, game area if you need to. You can also drag. So I'm just gonna drag the rest of the code up. And we have a label block. Now it might be a little hard to see, but the label appears back here. You see it says label. It's a little hard to see. You can, you can move where, where it appears. Sorry. So I'm gonna go back into label and we're just gonna put a zero here. You can um, change the color. I'm gonna put a bread just because a red is uh, easier to see. And you can play around with some of these borders and outlines if you wanna put an outline on it. Um, that's fine. So I'll press um, okay. And I believe if you, I wanna move this. I think if you, if you press okay, you can move the, move it over here so that it's easier to see. But I'm gonna go back into the behaviors to finish coding, because I didn't finish coding. I just wanted to move it, put it in a, a better location. If, it, if it's perfectly visible in the top left, that's fine as well. All right, so now let's code this. So we already have this connection. Score will go up. Now we just go from the out of the number block to the value of the label. So when you play the game, see how this one up to one and the label also changes to one and if you move this over you can see how it changes like I'm gonna press ok I'm gonna press ok and I'll test it over here because it's a little bit easier to see notice how it's getting faster It's getting even hard to click on, and that's fine. I'm gonna mute this music. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Those are the three additions that you were gonna add to the clicking game tutorial, and uh, you are now done with your first game. And um, and you know, if at this point, if you want to make a clone of this and add some new things, you know, that's that would be a good idea. You know, just to experiment and tinker. But thank you for listening. Have a good day.